In today's lesson, I would like to show you five tips in advanced skill that you may look for it for a long time. The first one is joint properties uh, transfer. Uh, as you see here, we have uh, these jointes. You may uh, modify one of joints and after that transfer these properties of this joint and transfer to the others. You may you may ask me uh, that this I can I can make it when when I can, I can make with a group I can change one of them and uh, it will change everything. Yes, it's right. If you if you make everything with one group, you can change one of them and after that uh, every uh, joints will change with it. But what about if we don't have one group? For example, uh, uh, for, for this joint, I have these two joints is uh, one group and the rest is not. So what can I do? I can modify one joint, one of the joints, and after that transfer the, uh, its properties to other joints. How we can do that? Uh, we can go to extend uh, module and from here transfer properties. And I can uh, select this one as you see, it is the, this one is two balls and this one is three balls so what i want i want to transfer this one to three balls so first select this one one of the uh, one part of this joint and press space and after that uh, select the, uh, the other one as you see now it changed so what about these two these two as we said it's a uh, group one so i can and transfer only this one and uh, this one will change with it. Why? Because it's uh, one group. So the again transfer properties and click here on, on the plate space after that select this one as you see now every these two changes with one with this one. Why? Because it's uh, one group, as we said before. This is the first tip. Uh, this is a very, very useful tip that you can, uh, at every time, you can use it when you uh, you have uh, some changes in your uh, joints and you don't have a joint group. The first, uh, the sec uh, sorry, the second thing is uh, tube and plate joint. What's what does mean that? What does that mean? Uh, when you have a plate and a tube and you, you want to make a joint between them how you can make it with a bolt uh, we can uh, select this one and after that select these two and press space and from here to there uh, now we can uh, change um, the dimensions here maybe let's say 50 is okay I think yes okay so we have these joints but as you uh, as we know in reality we don't have like this because maybe this uh, this hole is uh, c uh, closed and this is closed and how we can we can uh, tie it these bolts you can you can uh, you can make it you cannot make it okay so what we have to do we have to uh, increase these uh, uh, the bolt length length is till the down and make these three holes here again and bring this one and this uh, nuts here this net nuts uh, sh uh, should be here so how we can make this as you see if we we shift this one it it will go uh, goes down and if we shift again to the top it will change uh, nothing for my connection so what I have to do I have to measure these distance and increase the bolt length how, we, how I can make it I can uh, first s see what what is this uh, dimensions so double click as you see here we have 125 so I'll use uh, or I'll select this bolt right click advanced properties from here grip length increase I can increase one to uh, 25 
as you see now I have these vaults and this nest came with the outside I can, I can make this uh, distance a bit smaller it's not no problem you can make it with a trial and error uh, just let me decrease it by five millimeters maybe I'm sorry yes I think I'm sorry 122 I think is okay yes 122 is okay okay so I have this one uh, if I select this tube now I can see both holes on top and bottom and this is a very useful tip also the third one how I can obtain a 3d a 3d uh, how can I obtain a, a 3d drawing if you see if we uh, go to first uh, just let me make numbering output numbering and maybe this one apply okay so now I have this uh, one if I go to drawing styles and I select uh, maybe this one 3d view model labels with labels can I obtain 3d okay now I have uh, this drawing so I'll go to here and from details 0 2 I have no 3d uh, 3d drawing however I choose a 3d one why I have this problem if you want to get, uh, get a 3d drawing first you have to change this uh, view uh, sorry you have to change UCS so UCS enter and change to view so you see here you have face name it object and just uh, select view view from keyboard and after that space now again another time view 3d yes Now I have another drawing, so go to drawing manager and select this one. Double click for open. As you see, I I have now I have a 3D drawing. This is the third one. The fourth one, when I have a huge uh, or a large model, how can I make it? If I have no, uh, I, can, I have a computer which not uh, has enough power so I can make uh, a couple of things uh, just you can you can uh, put or press li for layer open it and you can uh, hit some layers of it maybe bolts I don't need bolts to show doesn't matter maybe anchors I don't need it uh, and uh, maybe joint boxes I don't need it also and again any any type of, of layers you don't need you can you can uh, maybe weld this you can hit it hit it and it will be uh, much much uh, faster than before as you see now I don't have uh, bolts but I have I have the holes I can change uh, the holes at any time that I want uh, for example this one I can click here and right click joint uh, advanced joint properties and I can uh, modify my joint at any time uh, tip number five <coughs> sorry tip number five what's that tip number five is when I'm, I'm selecting one uh, joint for example this one just let me open it, right click, advanced joint properties I have to put these holes in the middle of this beam why? because in reality uh, or it's it's me it's much much easier for me and for erection and for uh, fabricating this one to be uh, done perfectly but if if I 
make this one from the top a distance and from bottom a different distance uh, it will may maybe uh, we 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 ma we make mistake when uh, we when we fabricating or when we uh, reacting uh, the beam. Uh, so how we can make this? Uh, we can go to plate and bolts, and uh, for vertical bolts, we have to put it this one in the middle. And this is the fifth one. The last one is sometimes we have to uh, cut this beam from another beam with a distance and make a, a splice connection how we can make it I can I can cut this beam and after that uh, I go to uh, here connections and make a splice and uh, connection uh, splice connection but I'll show you another another way which is much much faster than it uh, from here from extended model and this one splice split uh, comma splice and moment uh, connection so first I select this beam after that I select this one as you see it uh, gives me this one and the, uh, this is the distance between this beam and that beam maybe uh, I use 1000 and distance from face or from where I can change it with, uh, to the from system which is from this right line or uh, I can m make it from face which is from the uh, flange face and for the connection I want to a moment connection and press ok as you see it it's please the beam and make a splice connection I can choose this one right click modif uh, advanced joint properties and uh, make it and modify this drawing uh, sorry is this joint I can say both bel uh, bolted as you see like this and I can modify this joint it doesn't matter and this is the six tips that I I want to show you for today uh, don't forget to uh, share subscribe uh, share this video and subscribe my channel for uh, new videos thank you